Thank you for joining me today, guys. This is a short video on two subcompact pistols that uh, come from a different brand other than UK Arms and Vigor. Uh, we'll start with the first one, the smallest one. This is the uh, Bow and Quag, uh, C U A G, uh, P.218. Um, this appears to be a Beretta 92 Springer. And that's all I can find about it. It's made in China, obviously. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, gonna put this on a plate or something. They <laughs> need it. So, battery, or, uh, BBs in the gun. And they all come with these orange BBs. I don't know who's making these, but they're with every Chinese gun I've got. Almost every. So here it is. Uh, it says Elite IA on it. I think that means, like, Elite Inox, maybe? I'm not sure, but... It's got a magazine, obviously. That guy's thing doesn't stand. It sounds like it's not really firing at all, like there's just zero compression whatsoever. BB's from HFC here, that I'm gonna load up, and then we're gonna do a FPS test, obviously and see if my suspicion is correct or not. There we go. Alright, let's see here. Shaky. 45.9, wow. 36. Am I on the meters? No, this is feet per second. 36 again. 36. I've got a target sitting over in the other corner of my room. Let's see if I can even... <laughs> see if I can even hit that from here. This is definitely a uh, super soft gun. Oh! No, it drops after about... 8 feet. So, I think there's something, a couple things wrong with this one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's probably why, because look at the barrel. It's not secured at all. I mean, look, it's just kind of flopping around. Let's see what the piston and the... Oh, God. Oh, get it off me! Fuck! Where'd it go? All right, well, yeah, you saw that for yourself. That was a very dirty piston head. Oh, I'm really regretting the fingerless gloves now. This is what happens when a Chinese company tries to bootleg another Chinese company. This this is like something that somebody made in like their backyard, like an Etsy business or something. All right, now we have the uh, AK-887. This is from, you know what? There isn't even a brand here. Made in China, but uh, it says, New Century, New Design. So maybe this was made, like, 2001, 2002, something like that. We have the uh, Desert Hunter BBs. And these are just, uh, surprisingly, they're yellow this time. Some yellow BBs, and then we have that nice little cardboard box. Which, oh, this this is the one that can't hold a magazine in. Kang Nam model, made in China. Kang Nam. Sixty-five FPS. All right, now let's see if I can hit a target. Oh, it can. <laughs> just barely. It just barely hit the bottom of a sticky target. So I've got to really cannonball this thing. So I just got, oh, I was so close. I was just off the bullseye. Uh, I'm a M9 master now. That one kind of jumped off the assumed flight path. Again, this one needs to be fixed as well. Let's take a look underneath the hood. Okay. Looks to be the same as last time. Oh, yep, here it is again. It's a uh, chamber. Covered in silicone oil. Jesus, look at these rough casting marks on it. God damn. And, ooh. I'm just going to put that back in and not even look at it. Wow. How do they get that dirty? So we had the exact same issues that the other one is having. 
uh, from a different bra uh, brand at that. So it appears to be a widespread plague in the uh, Chinese wobbly barrels. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the, the barrel chamber is just split wide open. There we go. Alright. So this one was able to hit the target. Uh, neither of these have a hop up, but... I probably have a 10 foot room. You know what? I'm gonna... Alright, I'm gonna shoot at the blanket from the other side of the room. I'm right behind you guys. Alright, I'm aiming straight. So this one isn't doing too bad. I want to know what's going on inside this one all of a sudden. I don't think that was rattling earlier, was it? The little Chinese guns are kind of cool to collect because they're so cheap and uh, come in these nice little boxes. So you, you get a lot of fun for only a little cash. I think I've got some, some work to do on my plate with these, but I think that might be a pretty interesting <laughs> venture in turd polishing. <laughs> Thank you.